All right, now back to that weather. You know, the snow has already started to fall. So has the temperature and it's going to keep falling. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson has all these details. Mike. This is when dress in layers really requires a lot of planning because we had mid 50s at lunchtime today. It's now dropped into the teens and it's going to drop to the single digits before midnight. So a huge drop in temperature during the last 12 hours and a big one still to come for the next couple of days. But as I mentioned before, the record books will show that on this date, the high temperature reached 55 degrees in Denver. Low has been 18. The record 73 and minus 7. Average is 47. Right now we are at 18 at the airport. Pressures falling, arising rapidly and the wind chill is 3 above 0. This is the three day snowfall forecast. It's a lot heavier in the mountains and foothills over a foot, but just a couple to maybe four inches along the I-25 corridor. And this is going to come in little bits of snow off and on into Thursday. The Arctic front has moved southward now. Most of the moisture is coming in from the Pacific and most of that is going to stay in the mountains along and west of the continental divide. The very cold air holds on the eastern plains where by morning we drop down to two in Denver, seven below up at Sterling. But look out west, it'll be in the 20s, Cortez and Durango and Telluride out toward Montrose and Grand Junction. Even in our mountains here, it'll be in the teens by morning by will be a couple of degrees above or below zero on the plains. The very cold air holding in place, snowy and slick in the mountains as the day goes on tomorrow. Tomorrow, flurries at midday, a little heavier snow coming in in the afternoon for tomorrow. And the temperatures go nowhere with the highs only expected around 5 to 10 above over northeast Colorado. Teens and 20s in the mountains, but once again, look out west. That colder air doesn't really get into western Colorado as much. Cortez will be 42, 38 at Grand Junction, 36 at Durango. While on the eastern plains, just in the teens around Burlington and Ray in single digits over northeast Colorado. Here's the seven day. It's going to hang around for a while folks. Cold weather holds on for several days, action days at least through Wednesday. It does start to thaw out a bit, but in this interim, cold weather tips, you really want to be uh, sure to make sure that the, the elderly and your pets are warm and dry. Check on the neighbors during this really cold weather period. By the time we get to Thursday, it's 20, Friday it's 30, and about lunchtime on Saturday, it'll get above freezing. Saturday's high 38, 47 Sunday, and by next Monday, we're back up to 55, just like we were today. But there's not a cold wave coming <laughs> next week. So that's good news.